it's a bit breezy and blowy, but I'm facing that way and the sand is quite damp sort of sand. So it won't, possibly won't hurt the camera, but I've just I've just come in not far from those flags there, from the Pontins area, across the beach. I rarely do this end these days. When I lived nearer the wood, I used to do this end more. And of course, before I had a bus pass, I always used to walk all the way around and back. I mean, you, you, you did 15 years ago. I can do it now. I had to do it during the COVID period. But I, you get lazy when you know you can get a bus to make your day out a bit more relaxing in a way. You don't have to worry apart from you can pick up colds and bugs. But I feel blessed being out here. I feel blessed having the wood, having this beach, having Western Beach to a certain extent and being close to the hills. Being close to <coughs> public transport if you like. When it works it's good. You've got the train, you've got coaches, you've got buses. marshland here, these tufts of erosion. Now my granddaughter, ten odd years ago, we were I always used to bring them down here when they came to stay with me, with their buckets and spades, looking for crabs and that sort of thing, and shells. And she found what I believe is to be a very rare fossil. I have never, since all my years of coming down here, found one like Daisy found. An ammonite. It wasn't a massive one, but it was it was still one, and I told her to, I was going to look after it, but she insisted on keeping it. But whenever I mentioned it to her, she didn't say a lot, so I think she either gave it to the school, which is all right, or she gave it to a friend. I said to her that it was very, very important, that fossil. I, I, I tried to explain to her how rare they are. I mean, there might be loads underneath the sand, but she found it, and it was such a I've never seen one like it since I've been here. I, obviously, I don't go looking like I used to now. I don't. I don't come down this end very much. Um, I might more in the winter when I'm going to be doing different walks. But I, I've, you know, I've, I've hunted before. You know, since she found that, I used to look more to see if I could find one like it. Nope. I took photographs, the only thing I've got of it is photographs. She kept it, it was her fossil, and she was really into that sort of thing when she was 10. I, uh, you know, she was really into all sorts of things. We used to get her this magazine every month, I think it was, and you got like an impregnated insect in glass. It wasn't glass, it was some sort of perspex or something. And we had a whole collection. I don't know what's happened to them either. You know, scorpions, spiders, all sorts of things. We were collecting them. I would have collected them for myself. But I was trying to encourage her to, you know, like stuff like that. So I don't know, I don't know what happened to any of that. There's the bus I would have come on, just arriving by the way. The fact that I got that earlier one by accident, because that earlier one was actually late, so it was catching up. I would have only just got here now. Hey, you don't often see a beach warden down here either. In fact, that's the first time I've ever seen a beach warden van on this beach. I've never, maybe someone, the thing is, people will go out, even here, they will walk out to the sea, and it's muddy as quicksand and everything, even here they do it. Now, why is this beach so empty on a summer's day, in the summer holidays? Has something happened, I wonder? Because it is very, very empty. I mean, I know it's windy, but it's the summer holidays, and it's totally bare. So maybe there's been an incident why they've got that van, that warden van there. I've never seen one on air before, ever. Well, the thing is, they do need one, really, because if something does go wrong here, and there isn't a warden or a, 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 a lifeguard, you've got to get them from Weston. I mean, by the time they've come round the bloody woods, the person could be dead. turn out like because it is quite blowy folks 
It is beautiful. And there's a flat home out there, steep home, Burn Beck Pier. Right over there we've got Wells. Um, you can't really sit from this position, you can't really see the suspension bridges from here, but if you go up on the top there, you can see them. quite obvious on the Jurassic Coast but they even found skeletons here one year um, they believe there was a settlement round about here where all these tufts and that are some children were playing with the buckets and spades and dug up a skull so it went away for testing we never had any more that was years ago I'd like to know a bit more I might look it up later yeah, but I can't understand why this beach is so empty. It does seem strange to me, on a lovely sunny day, and summer holidays, that there's no one here. I do find that weird. It's not a busy beach anyway, when it was during the COVID period, believe it or not. When people weren't working, they were coming down on the beach. It was packed down here one year. I got images, photos, videos of the COVID time. When people were coming, they didn't have any work. The kids weren't at school. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. Like I said, this camera doesn't do photos, unfortunately. I have to use the other one for that. Over now. Right, just a little tiny video before I leave the beach and head up for the wood. I've been looking for stones, I haven't done any videoing, but I have been taking the odd photo. I've got a few um, devil's claws. Um, 40 million years old, I think, or it could be 40 billion. I'll have to look it up again if I keep forgetting. Yeah, I found a few. I found quite a large one actually, which is really good. Some tiny ones. There's a few more people popping out now, so I'm expecting it be, if it's sunny over the weekend, this beach will be busier. There's definitely more people. When they first came out, there's only about three people on the beach. These little families are arriving now after lunch. So, basically, the bin needs emptying, doesn't it? We're going to go be going up into the wood now. And, um, that's a sad sight, isn't it? We'll be going up into the wood. I have walked out all there in the past, by the way. But, you know, I don't do it very often now, not these. Not really. Um, so... This is a little car park. Just turn off for a minute. 